Hey guys, Gonarista here with an exciting update to Handy Drums, the world's simplest professional virtual drums. Version 1.4.0 is packed with many improvements, tweaks and fixes while simultaneously making the instruments even easier to use. We've got a lot to cover, so let's dive right in. All Handy Drums plugins now feature a dedicated percussion tab and the drums tab to give you more control. Balancing drums versus percussion is now easier thanks to the drums subgroup through which all drum set components are routed. Like the percussion subgroup, the drum subgroup contains a level meter visible whenever an audio signal is present in the subgroup. The drums and percussion subgroup faders and meters are tucked away by default and they are easily accessible by clicking on the circular button to the right of the main fader. And speaking of the main fader, it now has a signal level meter. And to make the percussion tab more worthwhile, we added a couple of handy percussion sounds. Finger snaps and a metronome. While CC4 controls the variable hi-hat internally, you can now assign any CC to it to control its openness. It is super easy to do, and there are a couple of ways to accomplish that from the virtual keyboard panel. The virtual keyboard panel now features the virtual mod wheel tied to CC4. It will reflect any movement of CC4 that your MIDI controller may generate. You can use your mouse or its wheel to move the virtual mod wheel up or down and audition the changing variable hi-hats. To assign any CC to CC4, do one of the following. Right-click on the virtual mod wheel and in the pop-up select Assign CC. Then pick any of the available CCs or click on the Learn MIDI CC and move any knob or slider on your MIDI controller to tie it to the virtual mod wheel, thus linking it to the CC4. As you operate the variable hi-hat, the hi-hat icon in the audition buttons will now display the action of opening and closing. The settings panel also features an animated hi-hat icon, which you can operate using your mouse or mouse wheel. To make the process of drum mapping more intuitive and know what drum or percussion instrument you are playing, we added the note indicator. Note indicator will illuminate next to the triggered sound using any method, including the virtual keyboard. The MIDI note number and CC in panel displays the latest played MIDI note number and CC number. They will make it easier to know what you are playing if you are not triggering any sounds in the plugin. Mapping our plugins to your MIDI controller, be it an electronic drum set, keyboard or controller equipped with pads, is now a breeze with our Learn Node functionality. Click the Learn Node button next to any available sounds and strike a key or a pad on your MIDI controller. You will instantly assign the sound to that key with the changes reflected on the virtual keyboard. Save your current settings or recall the default settings instantly using the new preset functionality. To access the presets, click on the presets icon at the bottom of the plugin. Round robin functionality makes the plugin play a different version of a sample every time a note is played. Previously, any incoming note would trigger the round robin group number change for all instruments. Now we have encapsulated the round robin groups to each individual sound, so playing one instrument will not affect the round robin movement in the other instruments. This is important because it will create a greater variety of played sounds since one instrument has no impact on the performance of the other. We made many tweaks and refinements to various components of our plugin to bring them in line with the rest of our design and branding. We'll continue to polish the details in future updates. We have added a secondary zoom setting to the main graphic user interface, which may come in handy if you launch one of our plugins for the first time on a small screen and find that it doesn't fit. To make all of our virtual drums and percussion more balanced and performance ready right from the start, we have further tweaked the balances of individual components. We have done quite a bit of cleaning up, housekeeping and fixes as well. 
The main fader is now connected and properly controls the main output. We removed learn MIDI functionality from components where it made no sense to having. All instrument groups multi-out works in all plugins and all DAWs, including FL Studio. We increased the choke decay time to make the transition from open to closed hi-hat sound more natural. We renamed Ballad Rock to Power Rock and Vintage Ludwig to Vintage Standard plugins, so if you own one of those, check out the relevant info before updating. And for all of you Pro Tools users, you can finally take full advantage of handy drums on both Windows and Mac. This version is compatible with the upcoming Pro Tools edition, where you can use our plugins when running your Pro Tools on M1, M2, Max in Apple Silicon native mode. Of course, they are also compatible with the current Pro Tools versions and can run on Intel Max and in Rosetta mode on M1, M2, Max. Our VST and AU plugins now work in Apple Silicon native mode on Macs equipped with M1 and M2 processors. They come in universal binary, so you can use them on either Intel Base or Apple Silicon Max. There you have it. If you already own some of our plugins, you can download the updates from your Goran Grooves library account. Oh, one more thing. You can now take all of our plugins for a test run with included free trial option. Head over to library.gorangrooves.com now and download your free trials. We hope you enjoyed the new additions and that they make your music making process even easier. We'll continue to improve and streamline the usability of our products as much as possible. I'm signing off and until next time, keep growing.